Mason, we've talked to you before over the years after tough losses, and games that you didn't play well or play, but not playing as hard as you'd like. How much of a concern is that when that you guys get booed off the floor in, this, in the first half and you got to make this furious rally in the second just to get close? Yeah, um, you know, obviously not ideal, especially coming off <clears throat> back-to-back losses. Um, but, you know, we, we just got to regroup. We got to get back to, we got to learn how to, how to win again. Um, you know, I think it's not as simple as that, but, you know, we got to get back to having fun. I think we, you know, uh, playing a little timid, you know, a little like, tight. You know, basketball is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be loose. You know, it's supposed to be competitive. But, um, you know, I sense of, I, I get a sense of like, you know, everybody like want to make, every, you know, we want to make every shot. And, and, you know, myself included, our body language when we miss shots and things like that, it's contagious. Um, and that's just part of it. Like, you know, we're not going to make every shot. We're going to turn the ball over. It's just all about how we respond. Um, and as a group, we, um, you know, we can't let it snowball. And that's what it, that's what happened tonight. You know, we let it, you know, it's a domino effect. Um, you know, but you know, I think just not playing so, so tight, you know, get back to just relax and take a deep breath and remember, um, you know, we playing basketball. You, after the loss of the Clippers, you said the same thing. You guys need to have fun. You guys aren't having fun. Like, obviously you guys still aren't having fun. As a leader, what can you do to inject some fun, change this thing? Is it a team meeting? Is it going bowling? What can you do to kind of put you guys back on track? Uh, man, um, you know, I think we just need to win. We need to win. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we have fun together off the court. You know, we bond. This is a close group. Uh, we just having a tough stretch, you know, I've had a tough stretch every year since I've been in the NBA and this is no different. Um, but, you know, we got we got to figure it out. We got to regroup. We got to get back on track, um, essentially. Jason, uh, another solid game from Malcolm tonight. Uh, what's impressed you the most um, from his first few months with you guys? For Malcolm, uh, his, you know, such a professional, um, you know, he's all about the right things. Um, he's obviously sacrificing by coming off the bench and, uh, he's been reliable, you know, all season and, um, you know, everybody has tough nights, but, you know, we can always count on him. You know, he's, um, uh, you know, one of our leaders, one of the, you know, guys we trust with the ball in his hand and to make the right play for everybody. Uh, and, you know, he does that on a nightly basis. And he's been a, a huge, um, you know, plus for us, you know, getting him this season. Hey, Jason, uh, you've mentioned multiple times this year that, you know, in a few months, none of this will matter, I guess. But what, what's the balance there between, hey, this might not matter when you guys are playing the playoffs versus five of six, tough stretch, and, and maybe some urgency there? Uh, I mean, yeah, you, you, you want to win every game. Um, and, you know, some things we got to change, some things we got to work on. Um, but, you know, 22 and 10, 32 games. Uh, we got 50 left. Uh, that was some quick math. I went to Duke. Uh, and we got 50 games left. Man. It sucks. You know, we got booed. You never want to do that. Uh, you know, rightfully so, but it's all about how we bounce back. There's literally nothing we could do right now to change what happened. Uh, you got to get ready for the next one. Jason, it feels like the identity of this team has changed a little bit from defense toward offense this year. Do you think defensively you're in a position where you can hang your hat on that end if the shots aren't falling, if your offense isn't there? Uh, yeah, you know, once our, our effort is is there you know first half it wasn't it was second half you've seen us lock in and uh you know it's tough you know down 28 points or whatever you know um you know the shot they hit at the end of the third um 
the, you know, when, you know, Sam saved the ball in and it went past our hands and they got a three, you know, those are just some tough breaks. Um, but you just seen the intensity, you know, picking up full court. Uh, and it just shows that we can do it. Uh, but, you know, need to start that way and, uh, you know, not necessarily when you're down 28. Jason, uh, usually kind of greet guy or say what's up to guys when the game's over. This time you stormed off the court, you were upset. Was it, obviously it was the game, was it the call that you thought you got it in continuation on the three make uh, when they called on the floor? I mean, how how did that change things? And I'm not trying to get you fined, but, you know, <laughs> how did that change things? And how upset were you, you know, after this, after this game falling short? Stormed off the court. That's a. I don't. Know, I don't know if I stormed off the court. I guess our definition of storming off the court is a little different. Uh, I mean, that one call or not call didn't change the outcome of the game. Uh, you know, I talked to Tyson before the game and Aaron during the game. Um, I don't know. It was just a tough night. I'm frustrated. It's like a bad day at work. You don't want to talk to all your colleagues after a bad day at work. You just want to go home and kick your feet up and watch some TV. Okay, I have two. Uh, I also don't want to get you in trouble, but the when you got slapped in the face by Miles Turner, did that like spark something in you? And did you get an apology for not them not seeing it? Yeah, they said they missed it. Uh, and, you know, at that point, that's all you can ask for is some honesty and move on and then just rob I, what are you seeing in him and um i know it's only his third game back but he made an impact tonight and just how is he getting better with each game yeah it just looks like he's getting more and more comfortable um from game to game and that's only going to continue to get better you know just want him to continue to uh you know respond after games and uh you know his body in that in that sense and you know just want him to feel as good as possible physically. Um, and we know, you know, he'll do what he does on the court, you know, when he's out there. So, uh, you know, it's great to have him back.